Okay. So, I'm going to shoot a short video, show you a few things. One is I'm going to show you how to test the battery and how to test if your battery is charging. Okay? In a car. You can actually use it on a lawnmower, too. But if it's not charging on a lawnmower, your uh, path of resolution is going to be slightly different than on a car. Now, what this test, before I get into this, what this test will not do is tell you whether the alternator itself is good or bad. What I mean by that, if your battery is not charging, it doesn't always mean the alternator is bad. They will tell you it is, but it may not be. Okay, there could be other issues. But if your battery is not charging, then this test will tell you that. It's either charging or it's not. So what I use for this purpose of this test is this digital 12 volt battery alternator test meter. And I really like these LED testers. This is my second or third one I've bought in about 10, 15, 20 years. <laughs> um, they last a good long time if you keep them in some kind of a dry place. Don't keep them outside too much. And uh, what I like about it is it's one step up from uh, from your regular test light. A regular test light just, you know, it gives you an on-off status. It doesn't actually tell you whether it's 12 volts or 13 or 14. Okay? That's what I like about this, and it's not as complicated as a multimeter. I don't have to choose and pick what reading I need, AC, DC, or what. You can do this test with a multimeter as well, but you'll have to be familiar with those pieces of uh, diagnostic equipment, which I have a multimeter, but I really like this. My multimeter is, is something I have, to get, I have to get on YouTube just to figure out how to do it, because I'm not that well versed with a multimeter. Um, I'm, uh, I'm just a backyard mechanic, you know. So, the first thing we do, is this here's my battery okay now if your car won't start you're gonna have to hook up some kind of jumper cables okay and the first thing you want to do and if your car doesn't start there are a number of other things but I, I don't think I'm gonna get into that the first thing I'm gonna do is hook up the, the, the black to the negative on the battery and then I'm gonna touch the red terminal and you can see, should be able to see it light up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to 12.5. Okay. And that basically means the battery is pretty good. And right now the engine's not running. So what I'm going to do is start the engine. Okay. And then I'm not going to be able to do much talking. But what, because you won't be able to hear me. And then what I'm going to do is touch that and get touch this to here again okay and what it should do pretty much all of these should light up now I realize it says here fault at 14 but I'm not sure why it would say that because I'm pretty sure it's going to light this one up I could be wrong but let me start the engine and then I'll do some more talking after this test okay. Sorry, it does make a little racket for a minute. I'm not real sure what that is. See that? Now, let me turn this off. I don't like wasting fuel. Um, so, again, like I said, I'm not real sure why that would say fault, because there's nothing wrong with it. But what I did want to point out, there's no 
guessing whether your alternator is charging or not. It's like night and day. When the alternator is not charging and the car is off, you light up the first three or four lights like it's doing now. And when the alternate, when the engine is running, boom, all of them light up. If you're thinking, but isn't there a voltage regulator? Once my battery's fully charged, it won't. I'm gonna tell you, when the engine is running it will light up all six lights every time if the alternator is charging it's like night and day now that's what I like so much about this particular test there's no guesswork involved there really isn't if it's not lighting up all all you know if it only lights up those first three or four when the engines running then your battery is not charging yes sir <laughs> you know um, So that that concludes this video. You know, and uh, if you wanted to replace the alternator based on the results of this test, I would say you stand at least a 50% chance of having a charging system afterwards. At least 50, maybe closer to 90. But there is a chance it could be something else. It could be a loose wire on the alternator. It could be a connector come loose, or a fusible link, or something that's broken, or a relay, or something. You know, so there may be a video on YouTube covers on how to test the alternator itself. You might want to look into that before tearing into this. Although it's not terribly hard to do an alternator, you just basically it's this bolt and that bolt. Depending on the car, it might be a little more to it. So some vehicles are not as easy, but generally an alternator is under two hours. You know, if you're good at it, you probably do one in about 30 minutes. But, you know, generally speaking, one to two hours. So, like I said, I'm going to conclude this video now. Thank you for watching.